Hi, it's Wayne from Imagine Entertainment, and I seem to have caused a bit of a stir the other day with a blog post I made about the retro roadshow being dragged forward into the 21st century. Um, what can I say? I'm not scrapping the retro roadshow. It means far too much for me. Some of those boxes have been with me since I first started out in 1988. However, it is becoming very expensive to maintain. The light bulbs themselves are very, very expensive now, and it eats the damn things. Um, it's also very, very hot to work behind. It's a two and a half kilowatt electric heater from where I stand, and in the middle of summer, that is just so uncomfortable you wouldn't believe it for four to five hours. So, what am I doing? It's not going to change the way it looks, apart from for the better. I'm replacing the incandescent light bulbs with LED. What does this mean? Well, here's what it looks like now. This is just one box which isn't used much these days and I've used it as a test box just to see how things work. And now here's the same box but with the LED conversion. Apart from anything else it's using a tenth of the power and the light spread is much much better. It's also a lot lot brighter, the camera doesn't really do it an awful lot of justice to be perfectly honest. Now with the existing retro roadshow it's made up of coloured bulbs basically. Um, each segment contains a coloured bulb, so you've got a red, a green, a blue, and that's it. With the new version, I can actually control the colours in each segment, so I can have the entire light screen as one single colour. I can do all sorts of pretty patterns. Um, it's going to make the light show a lot It's going to make it more efficient, it's going to make it cooler, and more importantly, it's going to make it safer. It's going to run at a tenth of the voltage. At the moment, the Retro Roadshow runs through what are called bulging plugs. Now, they're eight pole plugs, which have got a common in the middle, and there's a seven pins around the outside, are 240 volts live electric. In the right hands, they're fine. Um, in a party environment these days, people tend to come up to you, they're requesting stuff. They've got a glass in their hand. And get one of those spilled over it, and it's 240 volts of live electricity, which could potentially cause a big, big problem. That is not going to be a problem anymore once I've finished the conversion. Now, those that have booked the Retro Roadshow for their party for the next six or seven months, not a problem. It's not happening until September. You will have the original bulb version. After September, the entire Roadshow will be converted, and it will look a lot, lot better. So don't worry, the Retro Roadshow isn't going anywhere anytime soon, it's just being improved. If you want to hire the Retro Roadshow, please get in touch, it's at www.imagineentertainment.co.uk or you can call me on 01353 771 303. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.